let me show you how to use the Web Profiler module. Now, this module is great for debugging performance issues on a Drupal site. What it does is that it displays a toolbar down at the bottom, as you can see here, and it gives you a lot of information about the page request, such as which controller is being used, how many queries were used to generate the page, how much memory was used to uh, render the page, and then you can configure the toolbar to display how many services were used, uh, blocks, events, and also routes. If you want to learn more about the module, head over to drupal.org slash project slash web profiler. And from the project page, you can scroll down and grab the composer command and download the module. Once you've downloaded the module, go to extend and search for web profiler. Now, Web Profiler does have a dependency on the Devel module. And if you install just Web Profiler, Devel will be downloaded as well. So go ahead and install it. Now, if we jump to the home page, we can see the toolbar and it has give us performance information about this specific request. Because remember, Web Profiler actually profiles the performance of every single site. So straight away, we can see which controller is being used. And then if we click on it, we can see information about this request. Here we can see access uh, check cookie information. And we can also see request header. And then on the left-hand side, we can see information about the database queries. And if you click on swap placeholder, it will actually show you the specific variable which was passed to the query. And then you can see if any blocks are being loaded or any views or any forms. Let's go back to the home page, And from the toolbar, you can see which user account is accessing the page. Of course, it is the admin account, which I'm logged in with right now. And we can also see how much memory is getting used. Now, this is useful for debugging performance issues. As I mentioned, we can see the number of queries, and then we can see other information, such as blocks, views, and also forms. Now, if we go to a page with an actual form, such as a search page, we can see that the toolbar will display and tell us exactly which form is being loaded up. If you wanna configure the toolbar, just hover over the Drupal icon on the right and click on configure, and then scroll down and from active toolbar items, we can turn on extra features. So let's turn on events, routing and services, and then scroll down and click on save configuration. Now we can see all of the available routes which are being loaded up. We can also see all of the events which are also being loaded up. And if we click on the controller and go to the actual Profiler dashboard. From the left-hand side, we can see all of the available services as well as the events which are being loaded up and also the routes. And finally, if you go to reports, then web profiler, here you can see all of the actual reports which have been generated. Now, I would recommend that you run this on a production site. So only run it on your local site or a non-prod environment. You can imagine that a lot of data will be collected if it is left on a production site. So if you have to debug performance issues on your Drupal site, then have a look at the Web Profiler module.